So here I've got a ball, and at the moment the force is on the ball of balance. Gravity is trying to pull it down towards the centre of the Earth, and my hand is providing more than enough force to balance that. If I let go with my hand, obviously, without that force there, it falls towards the ground, and not only falls towards the ground, but also accelerates. So I've got here a ramp, and I can set this ramp at different heights, and we can look at how the size of the unbalanced force acting on the ball will affect how quickly it moves. So if I put it on the ramp at the moment, it will roll fairly slowly. If I move the ramp to about halfway up, it will move more quickly. And you'll notice it's accelerating. Its speed at the end is faster than its speed at the beginning. And that's due to the unbalanced force of gravity. Increase the ramp slope even more, it accelerates even more. So an unbalanced force causes acceleration in the direction of the unbalanced force. You can see this also if I try and push the ball up the ramp. To begin with, it does move up, but then it slows down and then accelerates backwards. So deceleration, slowing down, is acceleration in the opposite direction. But here's an interesting one. If I lower the ramp so that it's almost, but not quite flat, the ball will not roll. There's a force of gravity acting on it, but it's being balanced. It's being balanced by the force of friction. As I slowly increase the height of the ramp, the ball will start to roll. It doesn't take much. When Galileo was doing experiments on gravity, he used friction compensated slopes. He couldn't get rid of the friction, but he used a slight slope on his ramps to cancel out the effect, to balance the effect, so that the ball would move as if there were no friction. And he did that by slightly raising it up. 